Happy Monday and welcome to the workspace tour for May 11th to May 15th. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. The workspace is the same one as last week. It's called WA Work at Home. Um, the students can first um, give you some feedback on last week's work to see how it's going. Um, the badge sheet is still working, so as they're completing activities, they can be checking off and getting badges. I think a lot of the kids are really liking the badges, so um, hopefully it'll help keep them motivated as we continue. Um, they'll be able to find the religion work here. There's a link right to the religion workspace, and it's right here. In language arts this week, we're focusing on poetry. They are to learn about another new type of poetry this week. Last week they were supposed to learn about one, and now this week this will be their second, and then write a poem for their poetry anthology. Um, the link is right here. They could be doing their learning right here under Explore. There's lots of different types of poetry for them to learn about. and. Uh, right here and they could be adding to their forms of poetry um, jot notes and then they're going to add to their poetry anthology. As you can see only six students last week wrote a poem and nine were examining the different types of poetry so hopefully we have more engagement in this site. If they're fast finishers and they finish writing their poem they can do their 100 word challenge or they can continue listening to the podcast six minutes or participate in our virtual book club. But these are optional activities and we're focusing on poetry now. In math this week, we're gonna be looking at data management. The first thing they're gonna do is they're actually gonna be working on a warm up, and we're looking at a graph that goes over Mother's Day spending and they're going to try to predict how much money is spent in the United States on Mother's Day in a year. If the information I've given them is dinner and brunch and eating out is worth 4.2 million. So they're going to predict how much total on this graph is spent um, and they're going to um, justify their prediction. So they're going to write a name on, on one of the slides and then write the prediction here. Then they're going to do this Pear Deck. Um, this Pear Deck is all about um, different types of graphs mostly focusing on um, a slow, they're called slow reveal graphs. So you, you see this one, it doesn't give a lot of, um, it doesn't say what it's about, but as they click through, they're gonna get more and more um, information about the graph. So I think they should have fun with that. Then they're going to learn how to use Google Sheets. And we're going to be comparing two cities and their weather. And we're going to be actually using Google Sheets to make graphs. So they're going to be researching some information under weather base and then using that information and making a double bar graph. So that should come up any second. Here it is. So they'll be learning how to do this. And then they're going to make um, some comments about their graph here. There's extra information here. Uh, here's the link to get to the weather website. And then there's some fast finisher games here. And they can always work on Knowledge Hook or Mathletics. There's some extra activities down here that will um, earn them some badges. This one here is a slow reveal um, on division and it'll actually make a picture. So if you actually look here, down here, you can kind of see as they're working on um, the multiplication, this is what happens. It changes, it, it makes a picture. So it's pretty cool. There's lots of other activities. There's some creative ones about igniting hope. They can make themselves as a potato and practice Google Draw. They can make some memes. Um, there's lots of things for them to do. Hopefully everyone's having a great week. We should be learning a little bit more information about St. Brooks this week and some transition activities that we have planned. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please shoot me an email or respond to this um, email. Thanks. Have a great week, everyone.